Good morning, friends. And this week we're looking at a series of uh, teachings that Jesus gives to us in the opening of the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew's Gospel, Chapter 5. This uh, series of qualities for the successful life is called the B Attitudes. And yesterday we looked at the first of those attitudes, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And I said that one way of uh, stating that in a kind of a more modern vernacular is to have a self-affirmation which says, I need help, because that's what the poor in spirit are. It's the foundation of all recovery programs, the admission right at the outset that I cannot do this on my own. I need help. I need God's help to get into the kingdom. The second B attitude that Jesus teaches is, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now, at first glance, it would appear that this simply pronounces a blessing on everyone who goes to a funeral or who has a tough time. Blessed are those who mourn. And while it is true that the Lord is concerned for us when we go through periods of grieving, the word blessed are those who mourn is intricately connected to the idea of the poor in spirit because those who mourn are those who have recognized how far we have fallen short of God's kingdom and how far we have fallen short of proper treatment even of others. I've called this beatitude, uh, I am sensitive, because those who are able to weep typically are sensitive persons. I think of a, of a medical doctor that, um, that I know who is a leading oncologist in Southern California. He has developed a steely reserve because he has so many cancer patients. He cannot uh, become codependent with them in their illnesses, so he maintains a psychological and emotional distance from his patients. One of my friends who was a young mother, 29 years of age, who died of cancer, got through to him, however, and I'll never forget seeing the tears in his eyes at her passing. One of the most uh, powerful verses in the Bible is the shortest verse, which we're tempted to say very rapidly, Jesus wept, John 11:35. But that verse is filled with pathos because it tells us that at the end of Jesus' three years of ministry, he had not become clinical and professional with people. He could feel pain. He could be sensitive to others' needs. And he wants us to have that sensitivity to God, to others, and to ourselves as well. And he is saying that the person who is sensitive, the person who mourns, is comforted. They who comfort others are themselves able to receive comfort. So we learn the importance of living the Christ life by being persons who say, I need help, and by persons who are able also to say, I am sensitive. These are affirmations which are intended to direct us toward personal and spiritual growth and to help us live a life that is inwardly successful. Jesus has come to make us better people, for he's come to make us like himself.